Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and welcome to another video tutorial created for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to be continuing with this server environmental information but we're now going to be producing the uh, host. Now this is um, the host of the website is we're going to return is going to be the http colon forward slash forward slash um, and it's going to be the dom domain name after that. So let's get straight ahead and echo out this dollar underscore server. And the information we need to supply in here is HTTP underscore host. Now what this is going to do um, for me is going to I, it's going to output local host because I'm just running on a local server. So let's refresh this, and you can see that we've got local host here. Now in this video I'm not going to program as much as I'm going to talk about this, um, we're just going to talk about why this might be useful. Now let's just say we have a template system. Um, I might have a variable up here which is called host. Okay, I've got a variable up here called host and this might be um, contained within say a configuration file. So let's get rid of this and we'll create a new file called um, We'll call this conf.inc.php. So what we can do is from our index.php file, we can include or rather require, that would probably be better, conf.inc.php. Now, presuming these are our settings, what we've automatically now done is created this variable that's going to automatically update the host that we're running this from. So let's say at the moment I've got it on localhost and I'm developing it. All my pictures, for example, for a template system, are going to come from localhost forward slash something. So it could be local at the moment the URL I'm running under is localhost forward slash series forward slash server. So what I could do is I could say um, host equals this, however, um, template or, or images equals dollar underscore. So, no, it would be host because we've already defined that host, and then we can append forward slash images, for example. So we could say that this is our images folder, and what we've automatically now done is, as long as the directory structure is kept the same within our site, which it should be if we're developing it the way we want it, we're automatically updating the host. So what I could then do is inside my file, I could say um, echo, and I could create an image here source equals that and I could say right what what's the location of this so we can append on images so we've created um, this images uh, uh, variable if you like um, so we can append on images and then we can put the uh, file name afterwards so I could uh, say put another trailing uh, slash on there and we could say images and then um, header.gif, uh, for example. So what this is automatically done is, now if we transfer this from localhost, which I'm running at the moment on a local server, to let's say phpacademy.org, our configuration file is automatically going to update the images folder to phpacademy.org forward slash images. So now our page is going to automatically update each directory so we don't have to go through and change them. So this is how um, this, uh, this server environmental information with the HTTP host in here helps us um, with sort of day-to-day -day easy running of a website. And when you're thinking about creating a website with lots of images and you've got lots of different pages, you should always think about creating a config file with this kind of information in there. There are many other ways to do this um, and many different sort of techniques and methods. However, as long as you're using something that ensures that each um, of your folders or wherever you're referencing to often is consistent, you're going to end up with a website or a project that's easily transferable. Especially if you were creating something that then had to be, say, released to the public, you'd want something that people can just copy straight over to their server and start using more or less straight away.